Hello and welcome to unit 7.5. The last unit ended with this pretty picture of the so-called tiling of the TBO net of HCAST1. What is a tiling of a MOF? You are definitely most familiar with two-dimensional tiles from your bathroom or your kitchen. Tiles and MOFs are very similar to these tiles, except they are three-dimensional. The tiling of a MOF is just another way to represent the underlying structure. But with this method of representation, the topology of the empty space of a MOF is displayed. Please note that a tiling does not necessarily display the pore sizes or the pore shapes of the actual crystal structure. We will explain why later when we calculate a tiling ourselves. To create and display tilings, we need another software collection called Gavrock. It contains the programs Sister and 3DT. Follow the link in the additional resources tab. Choose the Gavrock installer and download it. Run the self-extracting Java archive file. Extract the files to a location of your choice. In my case, I will just keep the default settings. You will also need to install Java on your computer. Once the installation is complete, you can launch a program called Sister or 3DT from your start menu. Now that you have installed Sister on your computer, please go back to Topos. With Topos, we will now create an input file to use with Sister. Click Database, Export, and then save the simplified net as a CGD file in the same folder where you originally placed the SIF file of HCAST1 and your Topaz database file. This folder is usually chosen by default. Open Sister. Now open the CGD file that you have just created. Sister then determines the topology again. It also searches for the most symmetrical representation of your net. This means that Sister tries to make all edges of the net equally long and place the vertices of the net at positions that are symmetry related to each other. You can see here that the space group for this representation is FM3 bar M which is also the space group of HCAST1. This is not always the case, as the underlying net of a MOF can have a higher symmetry than the actual crystal structure. Usually, the highest possible crystal class of a given crystal system is obtained. The reason is that we concentrate only on the fundamental nodes and that these nodes can be placed, in principle, anywhere including special positions, as long as the connectivity remains as it is. Remember the definition of topology. And this is also why a tiling of a MOF's underlying net does not necessarily reflect pore sizes or pore shapes of the MOF. Because if we are free to change the position of the nodes, a very large pore can in principle be displayed as a very small tile. The array of the different port types, however, can be displayed very well by using three-dimensional tiles. OK, now save the output as a CGD file again. Just keep this file name and save this file as a CGD file in the folder with the rest of the files. Click Save. 
switch back to Topos. With the output file from Sistra, Topos can calculate a tiling for this net. Click Database, Import, and choose the output file of Sistra, which is named hcost one underline c dot out dot cgd. Click Open, and then create the corresponding database. Click Yes, and enter your user code. The creation of tilings can be very complicated, and within the scope of this course, we cannot give a complete tutorial to these software packages. But we will show you, of course, how you can obtain the tiling of HCAST1. This is again done with the ADS program. Select the output file from Sistra, then click the ADS button. Go to Options. In the Comment tab, make sure the Simplified Net option is switched off and that the Dimensions calculation is checked and the flag Essential Rings for 3DT is set. In the Topology tab, you can choose the Classification option. Also, set the Maximum Ring Size to 12. This is a value that works in most cases and it does not dramatically affect the complexity of the calculation. Go to the Tiling tab. Set the maximum tile size to 100. And check the boxes of Natural Tiles, Locally Strong Rings, Single Tiling and Inessential Crossings. The other tabs, Molecular VDP, and Continuous can be left at their default settings. Click OK to save the options. Then click Run. Another small window opens. Right click on the table and choose Select All. We have now successfully created a tiling. The parameters of the tiling are displayed here. But there is a much better way to display the tiling. This can be done with the program 3DT. Now, please launch 3DT from your Start menu. Click Open. Together with the tiling parameters, Topos also created an input file for 3DT. This file is marked with the ending .3DT.CGD. Open it. Now the tiling is presented in the three-dimensional viewer of 3DT. In the next unit, we will show you some options of this program.